It is Mac Team Builder Championship time. Welcome back, everybody. We got Ohio Western and Alpina, the Alpacas and the Ospreys. Yet again, just a very common Mac Championship game, it feels like. Yeah, took a bit of a hiatus last year, but we are back to where it all began. Who would win in a real life matchup between an Alpaca and an Osprey? Very tough question. Alpacas are not known to be very aggressive, you know? They're a lot bigger. They are a lot bigger. Fourth down and eight. Ohio Western already had a 3 0 lead. Number two team in the nation. Beating up on number three, six to nothing. So we'll see if the glitch has anything to say about it here. Third down and nine. They check it down to Clayton Putthead. He's not going anywhere. Fourth and seven. They'll have to punt the football away. Ohio Western back with possession here. Big bomb out to the sideline. Nobody covering Antoine Ball. Good for 30 plus yards. First down and 10. Joey Irwin, the Heisman front runner. Really, this game is going to determine who's going to win the Heisman Trophy. It's either going to be the Glitch or Joey Irwin. So far, it looks like Joey Irwin to me, by the looks of things. Inside the five, again, and how about Antoine Ball? Give him the Heisman. Five receptions for 63 yards. First down and goal. Handoff here will be met with some contention right there, but touchdown for Kellen Olsen, the tight end. He continues to be utilized in that running game. It is 13 to nothing. 151 left to go. The glitch thrown out to the sideline. That pass is caught. Good reception there for handsome guy. Third down and goal. Hand off. The Red Seas have parted. Casper Grimshaw is into the end zone. Three yard touchdown. They're back in the football game here. Down by six. 38 seconds left to go in the second quarter. Joey Irwin throwing off of his back foot, but it will be incomplete almost picked off by Braylon Gunnarsson he's already got two deflections to his credit but that's going to give the glitch and the alpacas another shot here to get a score and they will handsome guy good for 32 we're all tied up pending the extra point the glitch hooking up with handsome guy exciting I'm excited <laughs> all right Joey Irwin sack for loss of five Torrance Niles Tate with the sack second and 15 pockets oh. collapsing Irwin goes down along with his Heisman hopes. Oh, you're, you're banking it now, aren't you? Banking it. Third and 22. Heisman moment, possibly. Here's Irwin. Passes out to the left. It is picked off. Intercepted. As I was saying. I think it might be over. I think you're right. Only 97 yards in the third quarter. Not very Heisman-esque, I gotta say. But the glitch, he goes down for a sack. It's Jumbo Bean with the big hit on him. Second down and 16. They'll hand it off. They're going in the backfield even further. Third down and 18. Ohio Western's defense really got to lock it down right here. Glitch fires out to the right, but it's going to be picked off. And take a look here. They run into each other, and he's the gone. Glitch. glitch is gone. Wow. The glitch recovers. Good tackle there to save the pick six. But Caleb Green with the interception. Third down and six here for the Ospreys. Here's a pass to the end zone, but no. Intercept at the one-yard line. Possibly <laughs> could have been a safety. Where was the ball? It's in the end that's zone. That's a safety, It dude. should have been an end uh, safety. Yeah, you're right. Oh, that's a safety. But four minutes on the dot. Third down and 18. Again, the glitch will throw an INT as well. Another pick. So two turnovers apiece. For both quarterbacks and they're just wilding out here right now they're up by one ohio western is down by one they know what's at stakes but this pass is also going to be picked off it That's hit it hit the foot of an ohio western wow. receiver i've seen that before braylon edwards in the rose bowl yep exactly but and this was braylon gunnerson oh. with the int did he pick it up off the ground? Doesn't look like it. Ah, black magic, man. Black magic. Here's a pass fired out to the numbers. The glitch firing on all cylinders now after that interception. First and 10. It's taken off for it. No one's going to be able to tackle that big boy. 13-yard rush. Alpina with three minutes left in the third quarter. Oh, he just saved a touchdown right there on that run second down and goal but back in the end zone that is handsome guy yet again he loves him he loves handsome guy wide open two touchdowns two picks for the glitch they'll settle for the extra point why not <laughs> eight point lead at this point 21 13 but down goes Irwin. he's a yard short they what will elect that? to go for the field goal here as time expires in the third quarter so 21 16 
632. Again, Alpina is not in very good field position there, down and distance wise. They'll go with the draw. Fourth and six, they'll punt it away. So Ohio Western's defense coming through right here, stopping them. Big catch, big extra yard gain right there. Woof, Ohio Western has a chance to take the lead on a touchdown. Anthony Flowers, that's his only reception. Third down and goal. Keeper, Joey Irwin's in the end zone. Touchdown, Ospreys. I think they got to go for two right here. Oh, yeah. So 347 left. Oh, Nobody good home. Good move, by the way. Fake him out a little bit. Here's the two-point conversion. They got it. Wide open run. Owu, back on top here. 24 to 21. Now, possession here for Alpina. Huge moment for them. Got to get some points up on the board. But they will be moving backwards after the false start. They go into Wildcat formation by the looks of it. And Clayton Puthead going backwards. Another loss. Second and 17. Pass will be completed. Gain of 11. Hans are cold. Hans are hot right now. Third and six. Pass going to be almost intercepted again. Caleb Green finding a way to deflect the pass. So they will punt the football away. Third down and one. And Alpina has one more timeout. 153. Here's a rush up the middle. Gain of seven. Ohio Western. They get another first down here. I think it's over. Mm, disagree with the call. The punt there, obviously. Yes. Not a very good call. But second down and three. First down is imminent. There it is. That should be the icing on the cake. And it is. Ohio Western will be your MAC champions for season number seven. Good for them. Good for them. I'm on Alpina's side. I, I don't appreciate Ohio Western. Why? You don't want them to break the curse? No. They've already broken it. <laughs> the curse is a it's a it's a long, shell of itself. Yeah, it's an afterthought. Yeah, we gotta so. figure out what uh, what what Banky's doing. The back, the ghost of Banky. Where's he been? Uh, Where's he been? He might die this off season. Yeah, he could be. He could be done. This could be I mean, it. The yeah, the ghost. I'm saying the ghost might take out the head coach. Oh yeah. Oh. He might that, actually that just Banky. go full mask off. I got and it. He'll be the head coach. I got it. The, the demon will be the head coach. Well, there's your Heisman winner, Joey Irwin, will officially. Win it. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. And it was a pretty close game. Like, look at that. The passing yards, one yard off. The total yards, one yard off. But the one extra turnover cost Alpina. Joey Irwin won the game with three picks. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's ridiculous, right? It was ridiculous. <laughs> now, guys, a little FYI here. I like to show the defensive stats, especially when there's been a lot of like turnovers. It froze on me. Okay froze on me so we're backing out and i had to simulate like 15 times just to get ohio western to win again okay and here's your updated stats so now so, joe okay oh, joe Irwin would this would win the heisman a hundred percent comeback yep. 52 points okay. so what a, we saw was a dream sequence yes yeah, of, so something like that <laughs> yeah. joey Irwin. he had a negative he had a he had a negative dream yep and then he saw what he needed to correct Yep. Okay. So the bowl matchups have changed in this second sim. Ooh. You get Stanford, we get Nevada. And the Heisman votes Nevada. actually changed as well. So he had 1,900 votes. Now, what a what a downgrade. Alpina has to play Indiana in a bowl game. Pretty, pretty sucky, but we got some hardware. Irwin's going to clean up. He's going to win the Maxwell. He's going to win the Walter Camp. He's going to win the Davy O'Brien Award and the Heisman and... We got yeah, a guy gets Blitnikoff. Yep, John, we got another award there. We got Whitehead winning. Uh, Kilgore has won the Dick wow. Buckus Award. That's huge. Harrell was a big field goal guy for the you kicking the game. Return Man Award too for yeah Benjamin Hayden. Potion. <laughs> um, so we get Nevada, and I, I think we match up pretty evenly with them. Alpina, I would expect a big blowout there. Sadamu, we're not going to show this these bowl games here. Just you, me, and the national championship, by the way, which will be Ohio Western and a team to reveal later. Southern Alabama, they're against Army. Indiana Gary. Army. So it's... number two against number one. We got to face off against the Army. Interesting matchup yeah. there. Army's good. So here we go. We got Stanford and Lake Huron. Let's take a look at the offensive ranks for your 
squads here. You liked it. You've been a very balanced team this season, which is yeah. very surprising. Well, frankly, I think Lake Huron University. I think we're just classier than Stanford. That's a big statement. We have higher academic standards. You than Stanford. do not. So I you mean, do not. It's been tough to recruit over the years, but I think we've done a good job with the hand that we've been dealt. Oh, speaking of which, good recruits, Lucas Kirby. That's a big. Coat. Yeah, that's a big. Did you see the spin move? He like. <laughs> They had everybody <laughs> running into each other. I love it. First and ten, Ramos fires up the middle there to Ravensburg, trying to reach for the end zone. One yard line. First and goal, handed off to that walk-on player, Blaine Means. Good for a zero-yard score. Yeah, you can always count on Blaine Means. Okay. True freshman. He's getting it done. All right, rolling out. Oh, big catch. Ah, oh, what are we doing? Bye-bye. What are we doing? Luke Butler. You've been served. Yeah. John Barron. Been served by the butler. John Barron's the quarterback. He's no Kaliki Rankin <laughs> from our other <laughs> dynasty. <laughs> we had, we had, in our old uh, series, we had a uh, Stanford quarterback named Kaliki Rankin and Kaliki. Lee Lumpkin. Yep. Lee Lumpkin and Kaliki Rankin. All right. <laughs> Lucas Kirby, <laughs> big time catch, gets the school record in receiving yards. Because we are not Georgia State and that was not Albert Wilson. Whoever that was, we beat him. Deep pass out to the hash marks. Hey. That's going to be picked up by Mike Long. What a good read. I read that. I know you way. did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Normally, I'd get burned on that. It's the guy's going to the sidelines. Little flag route. Yeah, we Post read corner. That. We read that. Perfect Ooh. read. Good pick. I wish my cornerbacks would jump for ball. It's crazy. But we got Ramos. Oh, ah! no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Give me a break. That wasn't a good read by you. No. No, no. Ramos, what are we doing here? Williams. We had a stop, and we had a chance to go up by 14. And it's, it's a tie game. Yep, and there's that creepy freaking tree. Yeah, a little scary, but we will fight through it. Okay. Oh, a strike. Go oh, <laughs> down to the <laughs> one yard line. Oh, yeah. It's so stupid. Like, uh, out of all of the, as we see another touchdown here by Blaine Means, another, like, how many times was that, like, looked at by EA developers? Like, did we did we test that? How many instances are it's we getting a, stuck? It's a Heisman thing, probably, just to make it your life more difficult. Probably. Wide open. Ryan Davis, I think you just had some man coverage. Supposedly. Yeah, m mishap there. Just people not assigned to the right spots, or they couldn't get there quick enough. So 39 seconds left. Ramos scrambling to the left. He's going to end up taking it to the pilot. No, he's going to slide down. 33 seconds. You still got all three of your timeouts. Haven't called any. I think that's pretty smart here. First down and goal. Let's see what we got. We got Paul Ross open. Wide open. Good lanes to run through. Another yeah. touchdown there for the Webbed Wonders. He had over 1,000 yards rushing to go with three, uh, 13 touchdowns. That was a record, by the way. Hang out of that ball, Paul. <laughs> oh, God. Stanford has the ball. We left him too much time. Yeah, four seconds. They'll kick a field goal here, right? Yes. Kind of a longer field goal, but, I mean, he's he got a bunch of room to spare. So it's 28-24, to 24, start of the third quarter. Oh! Whoa! Hey, oh! That was another good read on defense. It, I'm learning. Yeah, it seems like. I wish I was learning on D. I'm getting better. Watch this. Watch this, guys. The quarterback. I want you to watch the quarterback. <laughs> he's just he's like... What? He's contemplating his life decision. What He's did like, I just do? <laughs> the look of despair. <laughs> Good. I'm going to be Thanks cut. for the touchdown, John. Oh, no. Oh. So after this 35-24 lead, you had an opportunity here to get some more points, but the big hit from Robinson on your boy, Lucas Kirby. So he got paid to go up. No. Now, now, uh, now, see, that's that's... When I was editing this, I saw that, and I'm like, that's what happens to me all the time yeah, when I'm trying I to got, defend I got the run. sucked into his gravitational orbit. Yes. Okay, 537, Ramos dropping way back! Oh, my God. They're gonna, you're going to let them pick. come back, aren't you? We can lose this game. You're going to let them win this game. It's our third turnover of the game. Not good. Not a good decision. 427. It's a big stop for you guys. First and goal. Two running backs. Next to go. Baron. No, oh! Intercepted! Martin, we jumped it. What, what is going on? It's Look at this. defense. Defense. We are putting it together for Pops Burgoyne in his last game. 
Oh, he's done? He's done. It. He's 84 years old. He's done, though? Yeah. It's crazy. So, fourth down and four here. Hey, it's not over yet. It's definitely not over. You are thinking to go all Dan Campbell on us here. Go for fourth down. If you get the first, it's over. Yeah. But if, if we, you punt it away, they got like 22 seconds left. If we punt, we're losing. <laughs> we're not messing around with this. So past the 50-yard line, here we go. Ramos with some pressure oh, on him. No. But the man coverage bumped him off the route, and he was tripped up. He was tripped up. So 22 seconds left, and Stanford on their side of the 50 with no timeouts. It's not the worst situation in the world, but you know what? I think I would have let him catch the footballer. Tackle him down. They would had to hurry up. They will stop the clock with a spike. Second down and 10. Pass completed here to Green. And now time's ticking away here. You got to go. You got to hustle up. Third and four. They're going to get this ball off at about maybe two seconds left. Yep. About two. Nope. Three seconds on a spike. So fourth and four. This is the game. Time and down and distance. Here we go. Pass. Oh, Deep. Oh. Good yeah, play. Good play. Good play. Good play. Bowl game winners for Lake Huron, the number 18 team in the nation. They've accomplished something that they didn't do last year. Yeah. So, Pops, you, you got to turn around as an independent. Maybe that's what you needed. <laughs> it you pays can, you to can, be an independent. You, <laughs> you can pick and choose. We got a better bowl bid than you did. Wow. Well, it's wow. true. I mean, we got Stanford. You get Nevada. Yeah, we got the Barstool Sports Bowl. <laughs> yeah, you're, you got the you're on screen. I don't know. I don't know. I, I wouldn't say it's better. I don't know, Jimmy Kimmel. We Bowl. were on ABC at I'll take, 30. I, I, I'll take uh I'll take that. Ooh. So Malcolm Boudreaux, if you guys remember that guy. If you remember that guy? I do. He was one of our coaches, our assistant coaches. Yeah, he was defensive coordinator for the Alpacas at the very beginning of the series. Mm -hmm. Took an Akron job. And now he is over at Nevada in Reno. And <sighs> uh, in a bowl game here. And right now they're forcing a drop early and then you're making yeah, bad throws that was just a bit that that's one of my worst reads ever i don't know why i'm f you know i think you picked me off in a game on that very same play like for, the, for whatever reason i get the x and the r1 thing goofed up i don't know man i don't know but it's a pick it's devin garcia with a zero yard touchdown run it is seven nothing here nevada nevada S nevada second and ten and that's another bad read so You're I don't just, know. I, you are... I, I think, yeah, I'm, I'm forcing some stuff, and I need my eyes checked. <laughs> where am I going? Where for am lack I going? Of a better word, you are pissing this game away. Yes, we could, really, because you can't. And then we crash middle. We crash middle, and he goes left. Big hit by Kalu, but that's not going to matter. 22 yards. Good rush there by Lawrence. Third down and nine. Lawrence hands it off to Garcia. Just tackle this guy. May softly gets it done. He'll kick in a fact, field goal. But you I, can't give uh, possessions away. No, I'm, in, in fact, I, I think the NCAA does need to open a investigation. Oh, my God. this. You think we're throwing the game? <sighs> Did I say that? <laughs> like, even though, like, on the run, like, I'm thinking that this pass is going to go above that cornerback. But, no, like... It's just, it's just, this is bad. This is really bad. Pick it off, May Softly. Pick it off. But we got a flag. It's pass interference. Don't call it on us. Thank God. It, it's on It's on the offense. Lee James. Offensive pass interference. So it's, it's going to push him back. Fourth down and 10. They'll kick a field goal. And I'm just done with Sotheby at this point. I'm done with him. F three picks. He's just not reading the field correctly. You know, you blame it on the user, but storylines, guys, storylines. We're going with Kenny Riley, the senior. This is basically his last game of his collegiate career. Let him play in the bowl game. You know, you got the other started three picks. They threw the game. Let him go. They threw the game. <laughs> this is throwing the game. <laughs> they got the backup in now. We've thrown the game. I don't know. We're moving here. The game's not over. The game is definitely not over. Another stop, another touchdown. We take the lead, especially after this porous first half. I... It's kind of crazy to think that we could still win. Now, I I, I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> He's throwing the game. I pushed the wrong button. I've been playing my Lions franchise in Madden. I pushed the wrong button. I pressed triangle. That's onside kick. Could have called time. So I could have, but I'm thinking, you know, it's three minutes left. Like, Feeling frisky. We need some timeouts here to, to get another quick score. But, you know, that, that didn't happen. And now Nevada has got another touchdown. It's 20-7. to 7. 
did they go for two here to make this a you know two score game they don't still a two score game but 20 to 7 game riley Roll out, bombing geez. it here to Kaneel mason all the way down just past the 15 little play action riley scrambling to the right missed tackle down the sidelines he's going for the pylon he dives can't quite get there one yard line. That's a fumble late in half. Second down and one. Where is the first down marker? Second and one. Like, where is it? But Barnes going to go backwards. Minus one. Call timeout. Our first of the half. Third down and two. We're running that read option play. Hopefully, we can get in the end zone. We do. And we're back down to a six point game. Depending on if I'm going for two or not. And I don't here. So let's go to the third quarter. It may softly. Um. I didn't play that. I didn't play that defensive coverage correctly. Like you need to get back. You've He's got throwing the game. You got the middle of. <laughs> you got the side over there. It's, it's you know just past your hash marks. Yeah. Twenty-seven fourteen. Riley deep bomb to Peyton. Catch that ball. <laughs> He's God. throwing the game. He does this. He makes some incredible grabs. He made some bad drops. It's just not good sometimes with Benjamin Peyton. Greg Marshall good for seven. Third down and three. Riley going to hand it off here, and this was just blown up. Third and three, absolutely blown up, and we don't have a field goal unit. We have no field goal unit. You guys know this. We have no kicker this, this season. So fourth and five. Riley, he's got to pass it. We like the hitch routes, but Keneal's going to drop it. There was a lot of traffic. I don't blame him for it, but again, guys, we are now down 13, and Lawrence is going to go. That was huge. We absolutely needed that. Good job by Geronimo Legions for the sack. Second and 17. Lawrence. Little rolling out to his right. Pass will be caught by Garcia. Love is going to get the big hit on him. Third and 14. What do they got now? Pass completed. McDonald with the catch and oh, kick field goal. So 30 to 14. We're down by 16 points. It is, if you're doing the math, two touchdowns and two two-point conversion doable i mean you got a whole quarter left riley oh nobody oh literally nobody open here so third down and 15 and again where we're at in the field you got to pick up some chunk change and you got to go for it here fourth and 15 we're not punting it's pointless you have to go for it <laughs> this is not sure. a good this is not a good situation this sucks no i mean in real life you'd punt but I mean, there's only a handful of minutes left. Yeah, in the game we're either minutes. thinking square or R1, and that's who we ah! got. We got Jones. Turn it up field, man. Oh, nice play. Yeah. With play action, first and 10. And look at that throw right in between the defenders. That's like, hmm, that is confidence in your arm. David Jones with the score, 20 to 30. Now is about the time I think can go for two. Okay. Get this thing to an eight-point game because you have to, right? Sure. You have to. You can't go down nine. So we don't have anybody open by the looks of it. Riley's just scrambling, trying to get there. We had the guy open, but Riley just, I don't know what that is. What is he doing? Is he literally throwing the game? Like, look at this. It's a short arm pass. Yeah, it's not, it's down by 10 now. Completely short armed. So yeah, still a two point game and May softly gets burned again. Morgan with the grab. He looks like he's gonna get down at about the 15, about the 20. Lawrence pass to the pylon touchdown oh yeah this big, guy big manning throw this guy is just he's amazing he's amazing he's a tom brady throw i draft him. look at him i draft him look at that i mean no one's covering it's a complete completely amazing <laughs> throw so benjamin payton what do you got here sir 10 seconds in the third quarter we got good blocking really good blocking go go benny go gotta cut it cut it he does cut but he's going to get stopped. Be sharper. Keep what do you want me skates. to do? What do you want me to do? Be I sharper. Had, I would have had a touchdown. Second and eight. Riley Ugh. sacked. It looked like we wanted to go to X, possibly square. But third and 14. Third and 14. Just pick up some, some chunk yardage there. Some chunk yardage. Going for the end zone. Great play. Okay. Great play by Take Blair. Goal? Yeah. You kind of have to at this point. Get it back down to a 14-point game, but yeah! we can't even make that. <laughs> we have no kicking game. We can't even make that length. Look at this. Look at this. Just he, missed. To be fair, he's just short. Unbelievable. So down by 17. Third and inches. Lawrence is going down. That's big. That's big. Keeps us in here a little bit. 17 points. Keeps us in it. 
Second and Debatable. 10. Riley, pass completed to Cameron Turner. Good for the touchdown. Now, again, like, you can't go for two here because then you're down by nine still. It doesn't matter. So, take the extra point, take your point. Down by 10. Third and seven. Screen play. Garcia gets love tapped out of bounds. We'll take it. We'll take it. So now we need to drive here for a touchdown. Why do we show special teams? Why do we show them? Because good things happen. Benjamin Payton making two guys miss, three guys miss, four. Good blocking out front. Got to beat the punter. Ah. Now, on further review, it looked like we could have cut it to the right, and then he had a wide open lane to the end zone. But we did not do that. So now we have to get a touchdown here. Absolutely have to do it. Riley, risky throw. It's the Turner. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Robbins. We are down by four. We'll get the extra point. We'll go down by three. And with 431, despite how this game has gone, we're still in the game. We're still... We could win this thing. You see a stop, but that's asking a lot. Good First job, 10. boys. Pinky Kilgore. The Buckus Award winner. Coming up huge. Second and 14. Just make the tackles, guys. Kilgore saves us, but that's a huge run. I don't like third down and four. Don't like it. We're coming up tight on these guys. I think they're going to try to read option us a little bit. No, they go screen, with a screen. screen. Get him. Get him. Kilgore comes up again. Oh. Another tackle on this drive. So here we go, guys. Second and four. I didn't like the play. It looked like they were going to try to stuff that side of the field. Second down and four. Riley's got to come up with a big pass. Looks like we got X's open, but Smith is going to read the route. And it is a pick Six. The game has been lost. Should have ran the ball. Four turnovers today in a bowl game. <laughs> and we are going to lose by a lot to a lot. We scored a lot of points. But, you know, like, look at this. I want you to see, see this. As soon as I saw him pass the middle linebacker, I'm like, oh, yeah, zone. We got this. We got this. Oh, by the way, there's more turnovers. Okay. Third and nine. Picked. <laughs> Just trying to get another score. Five turnovers today. It's a bad day at the office. That is a very bad day at the Malcolm office. Malcolm Boudreaux with the yeah, the magic cook up today. Yeah, man. I, I just I, I saw that. It might have been too late of a read, honestly. But as soon as he passed the middle linebacker, I'm like, yeah, that's open. That's a really bad loss, my friend. It is a bad loss. I've had a lot of these losses in this series when we had a worse off team. Lost a Mountain West team. They were nine and three. Yeah, give him that, but give him some credit. All I'm right, guys. Better than him. Well, we'll see what we do next year. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Army in the national title game. How about that? <laughs> Against Ohio Western. Number two pass offense, number one in passing touchdowns. They don't like to run the football. But Army, on the other hand, does like to run the ball. They have to be effective here. They got to keep Joey Irwin off the field as much as possible. So quick cut highlights here. Missed field goal attempt there just off the uprights, and it still remain a nothing nothing game. First down and 10. Here goes Joey Irwin. Look at that cut. I don't ever see CPU quarterbacks make that kind of read, but a 20 yard rush. This is why Joey Irwin won the Heisman Trophy. He's good. Loss of one Keith Allen going backwards. They'll kick a field goal. Three nothing here. Third down and nine. Good play in the backfield. Antoine Smith. Getting dropped for three-yard loss. Jake Myers, already good for two tackles for losses. First and ten, picked off. Oh, God, Joe Irwin. I was just I was talking good about you, man. He's turning into an interception machine. <laughs> <laughs> Quarterback's going to get bumped by one of his old linemen or running back. Antoine Smith, good for six, but can't pick up the first down. So this has been a defensive battle. Not often you see that in national title games, but we got a fumble here. Nice play on defense by Jumbo Bean. Great play. So 2.15 in the second quarter. We're going to jump to a minute 20. Third and 12. Pass. Incomplete. Oh, it was riveting. Dude, it's just... This game's been a barn burner. Yeah, it has. Look, look, at, look at this. I want my money back. Ball was spotted at the 40-yard line. That's insane. That's a good kick. It is. A, and he still had Transfer room portal? to spare. <laughs> second and four. Irwin. Taking off for it. Got to get down or get out of bounds. Something. You got three seconds. Guys, you got to get the field goal unit on. Go, go, go. Somehow they do. They were prepared. They're well coached by Shea Rolovich. 
And Harrell will knock another one through. A 45 plus yarder. Insanity. Nine to nothing. At the half. Awesome. It's been a barn burner. It's been so entertaining. You know, if I were uh, Southern Michigan, I guarantee you, I'd just call up some of the local schools, man. Yeah, Alma, Adrian. I'm sure their kicker's better than you. <laughs> call up the Michigan football t- uh, the, uh, soccer team. Hillsdale. Could go to Hillsdale. Go D2. Yeah. I mean, Billy Smith's a running back. What is he doing there out there kicking? It's ridiculous. But, guys, a 12 nothing game. Oh, yeah. 12 to nothing. And then Army cannot move the ball. Fourth down to one. This is pretty much the game here. And Bean is going to get a sack. Jerry Brown is going down. And <laughs> he's... Isn't that the governor of California? I don't know what you're talking about. Back in the day. First and 10 as we get a 15 nothing score now. And Eric Belmont, the custom player. 15 to nothing? 15 to nothing is your final score. That's it. Ohio Western will win a national title. There's going to be some controversy. Maybe Army shouldn't have been there. Maybe if, if you go to 14 playoff, Army would have got knocked out. Probably. So, But yeah. we were lazy and we didn't want to do that. We need to get back to the 14 playoff. No, right get out of here. Think of it. Long of 50 for Cliff Harrell. He's the, isn't that a sight to he's see? Your, he's your national championship MVP. So, the kicker. on review of this series... Army. Alpina has won a national championship. They've lost a national championship. And Ohio Western has won a natty. So basically they're tied. They're tied. The, the curse has officially been broken as far as Owu and Alpina is concerned. It has not been broken between us. us. Well, you won a MAC title. Oh, we won a MAC title. But, but we dodged. didn't beat. You dodged. We dodged Macs. Alpina, yeah. So, guys, stats. Um, Army wasn't, like, what are we even doing here? Heisman like, caliber performance yeah, yeah. today. 117 yards. And a pick from Joey Irwin. <laughs> Not Heisman-esque at all. I want to, where's the SEC? This championship's oh, illegitimate God. without the SEC winner in here. Yeah, go figure that. But Belmont's a sophomore, and he came up big with a nice pick. That was nice to see. But your national champions, Ohio Western Ospreys. Now, awards. We got Justice Jackson, Cleaning House. Yeah. Now, don't take into account the... Trevor Vinito. Yeah, past winners here. Lee like Mays. He was Chuck in the NFL, Hughes. I think. Johnny Lee Higgins yeah. was in the NFL. Yeah. Played for the Raiders. I remember Johnny Lee Higgins. He was quick. He was fast. Albert Wilson. Yeah. Larry Potts, Joey Irwin, breaking his record by only a couple yards there, which is interesting. They've had a, they've had a good string of quarterbacks. Yeah. Antoine Ball beating out Ricky Robinson. 1,400 yards yeah, this he, year. He's good. He's a good one. He had a good quarterback to throw in the football. There's Lundberg. What do I think about Lundberg? I think he sucks. Alpina's going to win the Quick Lane Bowl. As, again, guys, we didn't show that one. Indiana Gary's going to win the Citrus Bowl. Now, you guys might have noticed we did not see Somebody lost. Sadamu. <gasps> Sadamu lost by a field goal. So what do I think about Lundberg? I think he sucks. 48-7 to seven win we, in the Citrus Bowl. If you sim that game, you would have won. I did sim it. Well, I mean, if you did the gameplay, we would have won. We would have clean swept. Yeah, but I never see any comments about Gary and Sadamu. So I just figured, let's you know, let's not show them. Well, we're at the end of the rope here with this series. We got one year left to go, so let's. Yep. We had a goal in mind that uh, eight seasons would would pretty much do it. And I, I wanted think... ten. What? I wanted ten, but that's okay. Yeah. I mean, we'll see how fast we can go for year number eight, but. You know, as we just see the, some of the box scores here around bowl season, I uh, are you excited to get back into the MAC? Into the MAC-tion? I think we're in a good spot. We can win it. We can win it. Backup quarterback's pretty good. Looking for big things out of him. I think this is the last year from Tito Ramos, isn't it? You got Jaden Hunter. You got Hunter coming in next year. So he will get his chance to shine. Sotheby will be back, but... Hopefully that's a lot better of a performance in the season. Then he's really just got to be a guy that clutches up. You know, this would be his first action in like a postseason. You know, yeah. so maybe he'll be better next year. But losing by ten, I, I like the job that Kenny Riley did for us. But you know, it could have been could have been better with a nice victory there. Anyway, guys, that's it for the video tonight. Leave a like if you like this thing, and we will see you guys in the next one. We'll have the full off season. We'll get some schedules. We'll show you guys the recruiting results, red shirts, all that stuff, and uh, get you prepared for season number eight. So we'll see you in the next one. As always, thank you so much for watching, and peace.
Peace.